Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever. We are very happy because we are still doing the calculus and you are not taking on me. You are taking on the calculus. Today we are talking about tangents and normals and we'll talk about normal, what a normal is in just a second. But really, we're beginning to um, learn how to sketch a curve without a calculator. Um, so this is the graph of x cubed minus 4x. And what we're going to be thinking about is at which points is the tangent to the curve horizontal. Well, we've talked about that. The tangent to the curve is going to be horizontal right here when the slope of the tangent to the curve is 0. That's pretty, pretty simple. Um, on which interval, verals, uh, intervals is the curve increasing? Well, as the curve is going up, the interval is um, increasing. And as the curve is going down, the curve is decreasing. And then here it's increasing again. I think we have that increasing and de decreasing. And at which point does the curve change its shape? And what they're talking about that is when does it change from being concave down like this to concave up. And for this, that looks like it happens right at the origin. Um, but we will be able to f uh, use calculus to find all of those points and hence be able to sketch our curve. So uh, we'll be using derivatives to find that. We'll sketch tangents and normals to curves, intervals, just like what we talked about here increasing or decreasing, local minimum and maximums, and uh, points where the function changes its shape. We'll be able to do all that by the end of this chapter. Now what is a normal? A normal to a curve is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So here we have a tangent line right here, and the normal is the line perpendicular to the tangent line. Now there are an infinitely number of perpendicular lines to uh, any other line, but a normal must go through the point of tangency. Right here is where this line is tangent to the curve, and the normal is perpendicular to this line through the point of tangency. Okay, And hopefully we, we remember that when we have two lines uh, that are perpendicular, their um, slopes or gradients are negative reciprocals of one another, and that's all that this is about. We find the slope of a tangent line by taking the slope of the tangent to the curve, uh, or finding the derivative, and then that gives us the slope of the tangent to the curve. So the negative reciprocal would be this, negative 1 over the derivative at a particular point of A, and that would give us the slope of the normal because negative 1 over f prime of a is the reciprocal of, or the negative reciprocal of f prime of a. Okay, so here we go. Find the equation of the tangent to f of x equals x squared plus 1 at the point where x equals 1. So we're finding an equation. Well, one way to find an equation is to find a point on the line and then find the slope of the line, point slope, slope of line, okay, which is also gradient. A uh, little bit of a computer delay there, sorry, and that's a pretty bad L right there. Okay, so let's get a point on the line. Well, at the point where x equals 1, so this is going to be the point of tangency. And it's going to be on the curve. So that point is going to be x equals 1. Replace in here, 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have a point. So now all we need is the slope of the line. So we just take the derivative. f prime of x is equal to 2x, right? And so f prime of 1, oops, now I almost did x again. We want the tangent at the point where x equals 1, so we need the slope there is equal to 2 times 1 or 2. So we have the slope and we have intercept. And slope intercept form, if you remember, is or point slope, I'm sorry, point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is not on your formula sheet, I do not think. 
So now I just replace m and my known points, and we're golden. So y minus the 2 is equal to 2 times x minus the 1. And I'm going to clean that up uh, and solve for y. You don't have to. You're good right here. But you can solve for y, and you, let's see, 2x minus 2, add 2. So that's going to be y equals 2x. So what we're saying is the slope or the equation of the tangent line um, uh, to this curve where x equals 1 is y equals 2x. And I have a special treat for you because that's not it. we got to go back right here. Here we go. Um, here the, the our equation was x squared plus 1. We found the equation of the tangent line to be 2x, and I plotted the intersection there, and you can see that it is indeed at the point 1, 2. So we found the equation of this line, the tangent to the curve when x is equal to 1. Okay, So no big giant deal there. Okay, so moving forward. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Okay, here's our next example. Find the equation of the normal to y equals 8 over square root x at the point where x equals 4. So again, we need a point, okay? And a point, the point of tangency is right here. When x equals 4, uh, what does y equal? 8 over the square root of 4 is 8 over 2, which is 4. So we have our, um, um, our 4, or we have our point, and all we need now is slope. How do we find slope? We take the derivative. So I'm going to rewrite this to make it easier to take the derivative as 8x to the negative 1 half power. So then the derivative of y would be negative 4x to the negative 3 halves power. So rewriting that so I can evaluate it, evaluate it easier would be negative 4 over the square root of x and I'll just I'll put it outside since it's a nice number four that I'm taking the square root of so this would be let's see oh no I need to say um, uh, I'll go up here y prime of four is going to be equal negative four over the um, square root of four cubed so that would be negative four Square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8, and that will be negative 1 half. Careful. We are asked to find the equation of the normal. The normal, not the tangent. So this is the slope of the tangent line is equal to negative 1 half. That means the slope of the normal is a negative reciprocal of that, which is positive 2. So my slope that I'm looking for is 2. And the point, uh, remember, the point of tangency is where the, what the normal must pass through. So this is still a good point for us. So using point-slope form, so let's see, that'll be y minus 4 equals 2 times x minus 4. And we clean that up, and we get y equals 2x minus, uh, let's see, minus 8 plus the 4 is going to be minus 4, so 2x minus 4. Remember that. So the normal to y equals 8 over square root x is y equals 2x minus 4. Because um, we're going to look at it on the calculator right here. Okay. And there it is. There's our normal, 2x minus 4. Here's the graph of 8 over square root x in blue. And I calculated the graph of the tangent so you could see how the normal is perpendicular to the tangent through the point of tangency for 4. So just take a second to look at that. Okay. Um, and again, I figured out this equation, which you could easily, easily do too. It's the um, equation of the tangent to the curve. All right, that is it, part one of Tangents and Normals, part two coming up. See ya!